This video is designed to teach you about metaphase. Uh, if we take a look at the diagram that we've been using all along this chapter, metaphase is the second step of mitosis. Technically, mitosis begins with prophase, which we talked about in a previous video. Second step is metaphase. There's two important things that are happening here. The first and most important is that the chromosomes line up in the middle of the cell. This is a preparatory stage to get them ready to pull apart, which will actually happen in anaphase. Uh, the other thing that's important is you can see that the spindles are now attached to the chromosomes. So the spindles, which are coming from the centrioles at either pole of the cell at either end, these spindles are now attached to the chromosome at the center, at the centromere. And uh, once they attach there, they'll actually begin to pull apart in the next phase, over here in anaphase. But metaphase is just a prep stage to set up for that. So again, the, the two important things, the chromosomes are lining up in the center of the cell, and then the spindles from the centriole are attaching to the centromere of the chromosomes. So just to give you something uh, as far as the notes go to have for this, uh, the chromosomes... line up in the middle of the cell and then the spindles attach uh, to the centromere. So once the spindle is attached there, it can move those chromosomes around the cell in an organized fashion. I really think as far as this process goes, prophase and telophase are the more complicated ones. In metaphase and anaphase, these stages happen pretty quickly and the changes are pretty slight. So these are the two main things that you have to know here. It's also good to know the impact that this stage has on the next one. So this is really setting up for anaphase, which we'll talk about in more depth in a later video. Um, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in class.